It's been here for 137 years, and today it's by far Granville, Tennessee's top tourist attraction. The Sutton General Store was built in 1880 by the Cooper family, and they operated the store until 1925 when Mr. T.B. Ben Sutton purchased it for $2,500. Mr. Ben operated the store from 1925 until 1970. It was a full mercantile. There was not anything that he did not offer. He was even a John Deere dealer. He even sold caskets here. He was very successful with the store. We were also a big riverboat town, and he was a major shipper here as well. In 1970, his health became bad. He closed the store. He put metal over the front windows, and for the next 30 years, the store remained closed. Except one year, there was an auction barn here, and they took the contents and put it into the side room, and that was left. And over the years, the building fell. Everybody thought the store was beyond repair when Harold and Beverly Sutton came to our Heritage Day that we have in May in 2000, fell in love with the store. They were able to purchase it from Mr. Sutton's grandchildren who lived in Texas, and they set out on a mission to restore the store. They brought in a crane with a cable to cable the entire building and raised the right side of the building by three feet. That's how much it was leaning. Uh, luckily, the store was all, uh, the roof had not leaked. All the contents were in it, and they put the store back original. And they began to operate the store on weekends. They began to experiment some with bluegrass. But they realized in 2007 that they could never make the store the tourist attraction they had hoped. So they gave the store to the Granville Museum with two provisions, that we would operate it as a general store and that we would do a Saturday night dinner bluegrass show. We were a group of eight volunteers. It was a wonderful gift but uh, something that we had to immediately move on. We enlisted 50 other volunteers, and we opened on April the 5th of 2008 as a general store, open Wednesday through Saturday, and doing Saturday night bluegrass dinner show on radio. We have broadcast every Saturday night since 2008, and our radio program now is heard on every, every state in the United States and every country in the world each week. We do a nice dinner at 5 and 6.30. Our music starts at 6, and we do a live radio taping at, at 7. The store is open Wednesday through Saturday. We have great food here. Uh, we have a great lunch counter. We serve a meat in three on Wednesdays. Uh, then the rest of the week, we have all types of great sandwiches. Uh, we have all types of ice cream, floats, banana splits, uh, milkshakes, those type of things. If somebody's never been here before uh, and, and they walk in, of course, you, you definitely are walking back in time, but talk a little bit about what you can see when you walk in, like just on the ground level, first of all. Okay. This store has just been chosen as one of the 13 most charming stores in America by Country Living Magazine. When you walk into this store, you step back in time. Uh, we have a lot of the old merchandise, but we have a lot of new merchandise for sale as well, such as stats and hats, overalls. Uh, we have a quilt shop here. Uh, we have lodge skillets. Uh, we have a candy bar a counter. We have all types of shirts and uh, uh, things of, of that nature. Uh, and so as you step in here, it's, it's a very unique store because it's a two-story store with a balcony, and it's stepping back in time. As far as the balcony, do, do people ever go up there much and, and kind of just check things out as, as, as far as the, the downstairs too? Yes, the upstairs is all open. We have an arts and cultural center upstairs that has over 40 local artists in it. Our quilt shop is upstairs, and then we have merchandise for sale all the way around the balcony. Plus, we have some museum items as well. We have a doll shop. Uh, we have a lot of handmade items, woodworking items, and things of that nature. What's the general reaction that you all get from folks, maybe if they haven't been here before when they come inside, and, and what, what, are the, what kinds of comments do they make? Well, the store is one of our biggest draws because most everybody can relate to a general store somewhere in their past uh, if they're 40 or above. But as you walk into Granville, you step back in time in the entire town because of all that we have to offer. We have the Sutton Homestead that's open Wednesday through Saturday. We have a Pioneer Village. We have an antique car museum. We have a historic home. We have the Granville Museum. We have the Granville Gift Shop. We have the Granville Antique Shop. We have a saloon and ice cream museum. We have a post office and barbershop museum. So you can come and spend a half a day in Granville, have a nice lunch, and then tour the town. What's the best thing about this town, having this store, would you say? Uh, Granville did not become a tourist attraction until this store opened. Uh, it is our major draw, uh, and it is our showcase that we have of history of times past. 
Granville, Tennessee is located in Jackson County, just past the Smith County line off Highway 53. If you would like to visit the T.B. Sutton store, the address is 169 Clover Street in Granville. Reporting from Jackson County, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.